You know, for living in a place that's nicknamed the Sunshine State, it sure does rain a lot. And you often hear meteorologists say how much rain you can expect, or we report on how much rain fell over a period of time. As you know, rain typically is measured in inches. But what does one inch or two inches or whatever number of inches of rain really mean? Rainfall amount is described as the depth of water that reaches the ground and an inch of rain is exactly that water that is one inch deep. But all of the rain doesn't stay right where it lands. It runs off roads and pavement, accumulates in streams and rivers, is absorbed into the soil. So of course, one inch of rain rarely ever means an inch of standing water on the ground. What it does mean is that the ground becomes saturated and certain areas can only handle so much water before flooding becomes an issue. And there's a lot to consider when it comes to flooding, like how fast is the rain falling? Does an inch fall in one hour or over the course of a day? Is the rain falling over a forest, an open field, or busy city streets? If you had one gallon of water and spread it out over a square foot, it would equal about one inch of rain. Now, what if I were to forecast an inch of rain across all of Jacksonville? How much water are we talking then? Well, Jacksonville spans over 840 square miles, so an inch of rain for that large of an area is equal to more than 14 and a half billion gallons of water. That's more than 22,000 Olympic sized swimming pools. And so far in December, we've filled almost three times that amount in Jacksonville and seven or even more times that amount in other places across the first coast, like Lake City and Waycross. Long story short, I think we've filled our fair share of Olympic sized swimming pools this month. So rain, rain, go away. But hey, it could be worse. The rule of thumb for the rain to snow ratio is one to 10. And unless you like shoveling, I'd take the one inch of water any day over 10 inches of snow. Reporting in the studio, I'm meteorologist Lauren Routenkranz for First Coast News on your side.